He's going for oh. the full look, autumn. All right, we're all strapped up, ready to go on our walk. What a great way to start off the year. Exactly. One of our resolutions, you know, more family walks. Mm hmm. We just got here. The first thing we did is just get a burrito. We haven't had breakfast yet. No. Wow. Ah. I actually think I'm gonna need a fork. For this. I think I was wrong. Mm. We like this park. It's very nice. And I go on my kayak on the lake sometimes. <laughs> Someone thought he was a professional kayaker. You kind of look the part. No one kayaks here. No one kayaks here. I'm the only one on the lake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's getting a bit hungry, but we're exactly halfway around the lake. <laughs> Even if we turn back, it's going to be the same distance, mm -hmm. buddy. are finished. All right, let's have a bite. Mm. So this is the second New Year's Day in a row where Ben and I are just keeping to ourselves. I mean, this time we've got Lennon. For so long, every New Year's Day, I would be with my family, we'd go over to my grandparents' house, do yunnori, all that jazz. But yeah, this year we thought we'd just keep things really low key again and just keep to ourselves. We're just gonna do a really chill New Year's Day at our house, nothing too crazy. I ended 2021 on a good note. I ended up just taking a break. We all had a very lovely Christmas. Ben's mom came into town for a week and a half and it was so, so wonderful to have her here and it was her first time meeting Lennon. I didn't really bother vlogging while she was here because we just wanted to spend time with her. I have no plans on leaving the house again, but I thought I would do a little makeup look. That's lovely. Since it's the new year, I thought that I would do a recap of my New Year's resolutions and see if I have made them. How is he? He pooped. He pooped? Yeah. Okay, I'll go change him.
Okay, so that was a little bit of a detour. But anywho, since it's the new year, I thought I would go over my resolutions that I made last year and see if I went through with them or not. So my first resolution is to keep on writing. Now that I see what a difference journaling can make when I consistently do it for a year. Like, I don't know if I could ever go back. Since I was pregnant the majority of last year, yeah, I spent a lot of my free time just writing about my feelings and the experiences that were happening. I feel like it made me very grounded and very prepared for this new era of my life. So my second resolution is to hone my power. So when I think of power, I think of energy, I think of passion, I think of action. I'm realizing that instead of being like a, a energy that's all over the place, I can really hone it into like a precise simmer. I just want to refine my intensity and apply it in perfect situations. I feel like last year I was able to feel big emotions, but to channel it in productive ways, like, you know, moving house, uh, creating meaningful content. I used that extreme energy into ways that were productive and fulfilling. So my last resolution is to trust that everything is gonna work out. This lesson presented itself to me so many times last year, and it's because there was just so much uncertainty and because it was a, a chapter in my life where there was just so many new things and when there is new there is fear i've learned that fear is a lack of trust in yourself so the more that i'm able to listen to my gut and my intuition and to kind of shrug off that voice of doubt the better the outcome usually is because when you're afraid you're not acting rationally and i've noticed that when i'm more calm and more settled i'm able to make like the the rational choices that i that i need to make in order for a situation to work out. I can only focus on what I can control and once I've created a list of actionable tasks, once I've completed that, I just leave it to the universe to do what she wants with it because after that, I just have to trust that everything's gonna be okay. I feel like this mindset and mentality is gonna serve me well. So this aromatherapy roller was a gift from Ben. It smells so, so good. It's their Stress Less Blend. And I just put it on my wrists. <sighs> and I do a big inhale and it smells so good. You're supposed to put it on like your pressure points, so I just put it on my wrist, you can put it like behind your ears. Now that the baby is asleep, I thought that I would go over my resolutions for 2022. I want to be able to be more decisive with my choices. I've been a victim of flip-flopping. Like I'll make a choice and then I'll sit with it and then as time starts to go by, I'll start overthinking the situation and that's when the doubt comes in. I feel like I've had the tendency to react quite fast and all my decisions are kind of based around the mood that I'm in. So if I'm in a mood where I feel like really electrified and, and motivated, that's when I'll just start making plans and structure out this intense itinerary that I want to accomplish. But then I find out that I burn out pretty fast because I'm like, wait, I've committed to, to too much. I think instead for 2022, I want to just take a beat before I make big decisions. I want to make sure that I am in a calm and settled state. And that's when I feel like my intuition is the most clear. My second resolution is to connect with the community. 
I feel like the past two years I've been more and more isolated. I mean, granted 2020 was the year where the pandemic happened and we were forced to isolate, uh, but 2021 was like when things were starting to get a little bit normal, if you could even say that. But even then, I was pregnant all of last year, so I naturally didn't want to be around anyone. I was just... It was really like a journey of me going inward, especially during my pregnancy. I just didn't want to be around certain people and I was just very selective with the energies that I surrounded myself with. But this year, I'm just aching to flex that extroverted side of me. I want to find a community that I can be a part of. I want to find like-minded people that are wanting to better themselves bit by bit, whether that be spiritually, intellectually. I want to be with a community that gives back. Like I want to feel, I don't know, I guess I just want to belong somewhere and make a difference being a part of this group. So that's something that I want to manifest. And my last resolution is to vibrate towards the light, which is another way of me saying, think more positive thoughts. Uh, I think just the past couple of months, I was just in a very, very negative place and just finding all the hopelessness of humanity. And it it made me feel guilty for even having Lennon here because I'm just like, holy shit, what kind of world am I bringing you into? I got to a point where like I couldn't actually stop doom scrolling. I would just go on my phone and find like the most like wickedly traumatic headline and just be like paralyzed, being like, holy crap, like what are we going to do? And I realized like that's not helping anything. That's not contributing to any of the solutions that we could come up with. So instead, I would like to lean on optimism and hope. Like This doesn't mean that I want to be blind from all the suffering and the corruption in the world, but at least like if I'm thinking more positively, it puts me in a better mood so I can do actionable items and make a difference. And also because of my mom, I've become like, like a, a role model now for him and I don't want to be the model that just shows paranoia and fear and just showering him with all the problems that are, are that are happening like I would rather be a light and solution oriented and you know have some hope because without that what are we going to do? Like, what are we actually going to do? So those are the three resolutions that I would like to have for this year. If you guys have any, please let me know in the comments down below. I truly love reading and interacting with you guys there. I really do learn so much from you guys too. So anything is very much appreciated. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go read my book. I'm going to get a good night's rest and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.